Ladies and gentlemen, you have joined me in the greenside bunker on our seventh hole. Now, I've not hit a good shot from here. That is a big green and somehow I've managed to miss it. Now, before I get started on how I'm gonna play my second shot out of this bunker, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about your course management. Now, if you end up in this bunker, categorically, it's not a great shot, okay? So, plenty I think can already be said for my alignment on this shot. Clearly, I've aligned far too close to the pin. What I should be doing is aligning myself on the left half of the green. Therefore, if I push it or I fade it slightly, it might end up on the pin, but it's not going to go right of target. We aren't, uh, we don't have access to a load of pin positions on our seventh hole, okay? We can't really put it in the middle because it's on the slope, so the right-hand side is the more favoured side. And if we end up right of the green in the bunker, or where I'm stood now, that's not a very good shot. Put me down for a double, because I'm not getting up and down from here, okay? So next time you're on here, look at the green, okay? Focus on the left-hand side of the green, the left portion. If you hit it straight, you've just got a, a putt from a different postcode, but it's a putt. Your worst putt will always be better than your worst chip shot, okay? Little nugget of advice for you. Now, I'm in the green side bunker. I am very much short-sided here. I've not got a lot of green to work with. I need to get this ball out pretty quick and it needs to come out with a lot of loft. Now, once I take my setup, what I want to feel as the club is passing through the ball, uh, through impact, sorry, the club head needs to overtake the butt of the grip. Okay, so I want to feel as if the club head is going this way. So I'm presenting lots of loft when I go to the impact area. Now, a bunker shot is the only shot in golf when I actually need to hit the ground first to hit a good shot. Okay, so my thought process, I'm gonna hit down and I'm gonna throw that club head into the sand. Lots of wrist action. I need a big cock of the wrist and then I need to unload that into the sand about an inch behind the ball. Let's see if I can do it. That will do. I'll take that one any day. <laughs> 